A ball is thrown into the air and its position is given by h of t, where h is the height of the ball in meters, t seconds after it is thrown. We're asked to find the maximum height reached by the ball and the time at which that happens. We'll notice how the height function is a quadratic function where the leading coefficient is negative. We should recognize the graph of this as a parabola that opens down and therefore we can determine the maximum height and the time at which that happens by determining the vertex of the quadratic function. However, we'll be determining the vertex using calculus techniques. Where to determine the relative max or min, we begin by determining the critical numbers, which is where the first derivative is equal to zero or undefined. Let's begin by determining h prime of t. h prime of t is equal to the derivative of negative 7.1t squared plus 83t plus 15 with respect to t, which is negative 14.2t plus 83. Notice how there are no values of t where this will be undefined, and therefore to find their critical number, we set the derivative equal to zero and solve. First, we subtract 83 on both sides, and then divide both sides by negative 14.2. And now we'll go the calculator and round t to the nearest hundredth. 83 divided by negative 14.2 is approximately 5.85. So this would be 5.85 seconds. Now again, because we know this is a parabola that opens down, this is a time where the ball reaches the maximum height. But if we didn't recognize this, we would have to test the sign of the first derivative to the left and right of this t value to determine whether the height function is increasing or decreasing to the left or right of this time. And let's go ahead and do that. Now one thing about the interval, we know that time can never be negative. So the first interval will be the interval from zero to 5.85 will include zero and we don't include 5.85. And the second subinterval is going to be from 5.85 to infinity. And now we'll pick a test value in each subinterval to determine the sign of the first derivative. For the first interval, let's use t equals one. And for the second subinterval, let's use t equals six. Notice how the table says the sign of f prime of x, which is in most cases, but here notice how we have h prime of t, not h prime of x. So now we'll determine the sign of h prime of one and h prime of six. h prime of one is equal to negative 14.2 times one plus 83, which we should be able to recognize is going to be greater than zero or positive. And that's all we need to know. If the first derivative is positive over this interval, then we know the function is increasing over this interval, or the height is increasing over this interval. And now we need to determine the sign of h prime of six, which is equal to negative 14.2 times six plus 83. This value is going to be negative, but let's go ahead and verify this on the calculator. Notice how the derivative function value is negative or less than zero. This indicates the height function is decreasing or going downhill from left to right over this entire interval. Analyzing the table, we should be able to recognize if the function changes from increasing to decreasing at t equals 5.85, we would have a high point or a relative maximum, or in this case, an absolute maximum at the time of 5.85 seconds. So let's go ahead and record above. We now know the maximum height will occur at the time of 5.85 seconds. And now for the last step to determine the maximum height, we need to evaluate the original function h of t at t equals 5.85. And let's go ahead and do this on the calculator. h of 5.85 is equal to negative 7.1 times the square of 5.85 plus 83 times 5.85, and then plus 15. Again, to the hundreds place value, the maximum height is 257.57 meters.
And let's go ahead and record this above as well. Before we go, let's verify this graphically. Notice how we do have a parabola that opens down and we just found the vertex using calculus techniques where the T coordinate is the time where the maximum height occurs, which is approximately 5.85 seconds. And the function value is the maximum height of approximately 257.57. So the graph does verify our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.